Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Eglin, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to display a map on a web page, but really a little bit more specific, <clears throat> how to display a KML, Keyhole Markup Language, map on a web page. Okay, And I've really come up with a very stripped down version that I'm going to show you in JS Fiddle. I kind of violated some of the rules of JS Fiddle to show you a little bit more of how this thing works. Um, just because KS Fiddle takes care of a lot of detail, JS Fiddle takes care of a lot of the details that I'm actually going to put into the code. So here's my map right here. It's just very basic, uh, simple map that is a KML file. So let's see how this works. Well, first, if you're going to display maps in Google Maps, you have to have a link to the Google Maps API, which I have right here. Source, very straightforward, maps.google.com slash maps slash API slash JS. In this case, with the argument sensor equals false. And there's other arguments that can go be sent to the API.js file for Google Maps. This is the one we're using in this case for displaying KML. Then I have a very simple body on load display KML map. So I'm going to call a function. And the last piece is I have a div right here where I actually I'm going to put the map called map canvas. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Took a little bit of the coding from the uh, Google Maps uh, tutorial, but I'm kind of stripped it down a whole lot. So now let's come down here to function display KML map. That is the only function. It's going to get called. Okay. Now to, to display a map, I got to have first I, for a map, I have to have two things. Okay. So I'm going to set. I'm going to move this over so I get a little bit more room so you can actually see it a little bit better. And we're going to put those things together first. Uh, I need some map options. And the only thing I'm actually doing in the map options in this one here is I am going to set the map type ID equal to the, a terrain map, okay? Which is an actual specific uh, enumeration called terrain for that map type ID because I want a terrain map here. And in reality, I didn't even need this, but I have some map options. So to create this map, uh, I now have to create the map itself. And to do that, I have to give it a place to put the map. And I'm going to make a google.maps map with the argument of the element where I'm going to place the map right here. Okay, one argument. Okay, so I got so I'm creating a new map by making a new google maps.map with two arguments. So I've got a constructor here. One is the div where I'm going to place it, and the other one is the map options. Okay, it's that simple. Now I've actually got a map, but I don't have a KML layer on this map. So I got to go down a little bit further here. I'm going to move this up so you can kind of see this here. Uh, to put the KML file on there, well, I kind of need two things for that. Also, I need the URL of the KML file. I need to know where that file is. So in this case, I simply took a KML file from, um, there's a whole bunch of samples out there, and I took an example out of the Earth API samples at Google Code. You can create your own. You can search on KML files and find other KML files to, to display. Some will display just fine. Some of them, I, you know, as I went through and tried different ones, I found some of them weren't even valid KML files, but that's what it is. Then I have to set the KML options. And what the most important KML option is, is I need to set the map of the KML to be the map that I created up here. So this map variable that's from here is the map that's here. And then the last step, which is really straightforward, is to create a new KML layer, google.maps.kml layer. So, and I have the two arguments, okay, KML URL, where I've got the KML file from, and the KML options that I set. Now, if you want to do anything else more fancy, well, first, there's two ways to do it. One is to put the fancy stuff into your KML file, which is relatively straightforward. You just need to learn KML, KEO markup language. It's not that tremendously challenging. The other one is to understand how to use the different options that are available to you as KML options and the options that are available to you as map options, which are very well documented in the Google tutorials. So in bottom line is the steps that are necessary. One, put your link to the API. Two, put a place on your page for the map. In this case, the div works just fine. And three, call a function that will display the map. In the function, you create a map and you create a KML layer. And when you do those two things, you've got a map on your page and voila, there it is. If you do all those steps, you're going to get a map. So 
Uh, hopefully this all works out for you. As long as everything you write is right, you don't have any syntax errors, and your KML is valid, you'll see a map. Thank you very much. Good programming.